So if you're persuaded that happiness is important, the, the kind of billion dollar, I used to call this the million dollar question, but with inflation, it's become the billion dollar question. Um, is it possible to become happier? And if it's possible to become happier, is it possible to sustain it? Up to now, there's been quite a bit of pessimism in the scientific world about whether you can even become happier, uh, whether it's even possible to become happier. So I'm going to start off by being a sort of devil's advocate and talk about, well, what are some reasons that maybe uh, we should believe that it's not possible for us to sort of sustain a higher level of happiness? So three reasons to be pessimistic. And the first is that there's now growing literature that we're all born with what's called a, uh, a set point for happiness, that part of happiness is genetically determined. Um, and this is work that comes from the, feel, the field of behavior genetics. And it shows that identical twins are much, much more similar in their happiness levels than our fraternal twins. Um, and what, so this suggests that uh, happiness is heritable. It's passed down through our families. And so, um, and so a large portion, about 50% of happiness, is genetically determined. Um, and so that leads some researchers to conclude that maybe it's futile or kind of not very worthwhile to try to change our happiness levels because it's partly genetic. And we'll get back to that. Um, OK, a second reason to be pessimistic is that happiness has been shown to be a trait. It's an intrinsic part of our personality. And we know that personality doesn't change much over time. I mean, it, it can change, but it's very hard to change, right? All those of us who've tried to change our spouses or our friends, we know how hard it is. Um, and happiness is especially uh, very highly related to two core aspects of personality, which are extroversion, being sociable, extroverted person, and neuroticism, being neurotic, an emotionally unstable person. Um, and so if happiness is part of our personality, then how can we really change it? it uh, we have studies have shown that happiness is quite stable across people's lives. So, so people who are unhappy as when they're younger tend to sort of be unhappy as they're older. Um, and the final uh, reason to be pessimistic is something that I'm particularly interested in right now, something I'm doing research on. And it's a phenomenon called hedonic adaptation. And what it shows is that human beings are remarkably adept at getting used to any positive changes in their lives. And so we move into a, a beautiful new house. We buy a new car. We get a new job. Um, and at first, we have this. It's, it's really thrilling. It gives us a happiness boost. But over time, we get used to that. And no matter what kinds of ups or downs in life um, we have, we sort of tend to go back to our baseline. And there's a famous study that was done uh, in, in Germany looking at following 25,000 people living in Germany um, before, uh, before they got married, when they got married, and after they got married, and looking at their happiness over time. And what it showed is that people got a boost in happiness when they got married. Actually, the highest level was um, the year before the wedding, so kind of like the engagement, <laughs> the, the honeymoon period. And how long do you think? And then people ended up, on average, getting back to their baseline. Now, how long do you think? it took for people, on average, to get back to their baseline after getting married? After the wedding? 10 years? <laughs> right after the wedding? OK, one day. Uh, anyone else? Th three what? One year? Six, six weeks? I think the answers are, are telling me a lot more about you guys. Than, uh, <laughs> um, two years. Two years. Now, that's an average. So actually, what I'm really interested in is what about those people who got happier when they got married and stayed happier for years and years and they, above their baseline? Some people actually got less happy after marriage than they were before. Um, so anyway, so hedonic adaptation is this phenomenon that we get used to really quickly to changes in our lives. And so if that's the case, then no matter what positive, thrilling, wonderful events happen to us, um, we won't be happier because we're just going to go, we'll get used to it, and then we'll just want more. We get back down to our baseline. Um, so those are the three reasons to be pessimistic. <laughs>